is just a, uh, another quick video to show how you can improve uh, the features for your Nexus 7 by using accessories. Uh, previously I have shown you how to use a, a DVD reader uh, slash portable router uh, in a home setup. Again I am showing you how to use the same device but in a car as a network attached storage system. But there is a Samsung uh, there is a uh, Sam, Samsung DVD read read uh, slash portable router. I have kept it in my car. This device uh, comes with a home charger, does not come with a car charger, but you could easily get a uh, uh, in car inverter to use a cigarette lighter port. Is a uh, device that available from about 11 to 30 pounds. I bought one something which costs around uh, 16 pounds. Uh, 16 pounds. Advantages you can see. Uh, the cigarette lighter port can be moved to different positions by turning it. It's got an LED uh, which shows it's working. Presently I've plugged it into the port uh, next to me but I've got a cigarette lighter port in the back. I'm uh, most probably going to be using that rather than next to my gas stick. I can move the uh, uh, port uh, using the different positions on the device uh, to find the more suitable position. As you can see is you can use the same inverter to power your laptops and other things so that's why I bought this particular one you get different devices uh, with USB ports and things but generally I found they are about USB ports are about 0.5 milliamps to 1 amp which is next to useless to me if I'm using it uh, to power the Nexus 7 which needs 2.1 milliamps or this device needs 4 and the USB dri DVD drive uh, needs 4 milliamps so I prefer to use uh, it off the plug there ok uh, so coming back to that you can see it's powering my uh, DVD drive you can see I've got flash memory uh, plugged into the back port I've got the Wi-Fi on I've not plugged in the Ethernet port at the back you can see you can use it I'm using the flash drive you can plug in a hard drive there as well but if you're using it uh, at home, hard drive is okay, but if you're using it in a car with the movements, the hard drive uh, might not last that long, so preferably use an uh, XDD uh, as a portable drive. You can have unlimited storage in your car. It's got a mini USB port, which is used to connect it to a laptop to, for it to work as an internal drive. It's got an Ethernet port. You can use that uh, to connect it to your hotel Ethernet port to have a mobile, your own mobile uh, Wi-Fi when you're traveling. As you can see, it's not that great. It's just um, slightly bigger than a DVD case. For comparison, I'll show you. I've got a DVD case here. It's it's almost the same size as a DVD case. Not much thicker. You can easily take it with you when you're traveling. Let's see how you can use this uh, uh, to have your in-car entertainment system. The advantage is four different people can uh, connect to the same device and watch different files. Two different people can watch the same DVD at, at the same time in different positions of the same DVD. Or they can, four different people can access uh, the flash drive so your hard disk. Uh, and this is wireless system. So you can have it for all four people in your car can access different things. Obviously, you as the driver don't be stupid enough to watch a DVD when you're driving. I mean, for your children in the back seat, uh, they won't ask you a hundred times, are we there yet, are we there yet. They'll be busy watching the DVDs or other videos. Or they can play games on the Nexus 7 tablet. Okay? And so hopefully you'll have a safer drive rather than trying to answer a hundred queries from a child. Or your wife or spouse can... Uh, watch movies on the device on the Nexus 7 while you're driving, driving. Okay, that's me powering up my Nexus 7 and for this DVD um, portable NAS system for it to work it's called the Samsung Optical Smart Hub. You can get it on Amazon and uh, elsewhere. In the US it's pretty cheap from $50 onwards. In the UK you can get it for around £70, pounds, £65 to £70. Pounds. Uh, and um, USB flash drive are cheap as chips nowadays so you have a 
uh, portable network attack solar system for next to nothing I mean obviously it costs a little bit but I mean uh, compared to a in cars satellite navigation system or uh, entertainment system it's much better I've already uh, uh, got a uh, navigation system a CD system but that's not a DVD if I need to upgrade it pretty expensive satellite navigation is to put it mildly shit compared to the Nexus 7 or Google navigation system if you have in a car and to upgrade it I'll spend close to 500 pounds or more it's basically not worth uploading those systems it's best to have a tablet in your car and the kid can use it in the back seat where a wireless post can use it they say when traveling all wirelessly and to nothing compared to in-car systems that you get nowadays. As for Nexus 7, you need to have the app called the uh, Smart Mobile Hub app available for free on the Android market. I'll put the link below this video on YouTube. Okay, uh, and once you have that app, I mean, I'm just going to open that app. Before I open, I'll log out of my uh, Android uh, hotspot and log into the Wi-Fi signal transmitted uh, by my mobile smart hub. There will be another way uh, to if you are in a hotel you can plug in your Ethernet port and you can get a Wi-Fi signal of this one and use it as an internet access device as well but for now I prefer to use my mobile hotspots and, and juggle between those two. The other devices can connect to uh, the hotspot emitted by this portable router and I can use my own hotspot for navigation and things. Okay, there you see it's connected uh, to my uh, portable router in the car. I can You can put it in the back seat, under the car seat or in your glove box or anywhere that you wish so that it's nice and out of the way. I'm just using it on the car seat here for demo purposes. Going back to my home screen, I fire up the Smart Hub app. Okay, I'm gonna start it. That's the mobile Smart Hub firing up. As you can see, it's connected. You can play DVDs, you can play CDs, you can play videos of your flash drive there. Uh, or you can play audio CDs. Basically, you've got an in-car network attack storage system portable. You can, you can move from car to car to your rental car or your device car. Or if you sell your car, you can easily move it. You can get the Nexus 7 for about 160 quid. That's about 50, uh, 50 to 70 quid. And the flash drives are cheap as chips, so I won't go to the cost of those. You can use a portable uh, car charger but I prefer to use an in-car uh, uh, inverter which I got for about 16 quid. You can get it for 11 quid onwards but this one is 160 watts and I can use it to power my laptop as well as needed. Okay and it's got a fan as well so it's much safer and it doesn't overheat. Ones without that come without fans apparently overheat and cut out after 10 minutes and some of them can catch fire. So buy is preferably something with a fan. It makes a little bit of a noise you can see, but that's okay. And um, that's not much. At the moment I've got an audio CD on it. Let's see if it plays wirelessly. As you can see my Nexus 7 isn't even connected to a charger, it's full and I've charged it last night and it's still full and it's around uh, two o'clock in the past two o'clock in the afternoon and it's still almost full. So I'm gonna play the audio CD. Let's see how it plays. You can see various tracks there. I'm just going to select a track. Remember, uh, multiple people can access the same CD, two people, and at different points they can play different tracks on their devices, DVDs. You can see, you don't need to have compressed MP3s. Okay, that's my daughter's. I can go to another track. Yeah. 
As you can see, multiple people can choose different tracks to play on their own device via this network attack storage system. Now let me go back. It's coming again to the home screen of that app, which is available for free. I want to play a multi-region DVD now. Let's see how it plays. You don't need to compress and have MP3s anymore on your USB sticks. You can play your old collection of CDs if you prefer to carry it around or you can rip the full CD in full CD quality and put it on your drives and play it on your Nexus 7 for lossless music play of your Wi-Fi. Okay, I've just got this Region Zero uh, uh, DVD. Not, I just grabbed it to reset my system on Region Zero. there you can play the DVD now as you can see my Nexus 7 is not connected to any wires okay you can see I can see uh, various chapters different chapters I can see audio settings I can see subtitles if, as well I think this doesn't have anything. I'm just gonna play. Uh, let me go back. Let me just play that. It's loading the DVD. I'm gonna play. Enjoy DVD. You can see. Okay, as you can see, it plays DVDs fine wirelessly. Multiple pe people can watch the same DVD at different points in the DVD. So they can watch at their own pace, and so other people can, uh, two other people can watch off the flash. Or totally four people can uh, share this device. Uh, I'm just going to get out of that. Now let me. Uh, access files there's music player as well i can play music uh, i can play videos and you can smart backup uh, to either a dvd if you've got a right to dvd there from your device you can smart backup to the dvd or you can smart backup to usb drives or hard drives any files or you can copy over any files from flash drives hard drives dvds cds onto your device or you can just stream I was streaming the DVD, you can copy over as well, I guess I can't be bothered I'm wasting memory on my device, I'll just stream it. As you can see, I'm not going to smart back a bracket up. I'm going to see the file manager. You can see, you can use uh, file manager, I can uh, search my Nexus 7, I can search what's on the disk, or I can search what's on my USB. I'm going to go to the USB, as you can see doesn't even take a second it's reading all the files on my Nexus 7 I can copy it over I can open it I can stream files if I have movies on that I can stream movies of that as a or any other video files that you have as I've shown on a previous video okay there you go you've got as cheap as chips <laughs> to, to say it figuratively a network attack storage system which acts wirelessly for your in-car navigation system you can have your Nexus 7, your phone or any other tablet for your in-car entertainment for you and totally four people accessing the different files. Hope you like this. I'll put the links for the uh, inverter but you can check it on Amazon or eBay you can get this but preferably get one with a fan 
so it can be safe and get a higher voltage this one's 160 volts and it can power my laptops as well other people have said uh, they've used it while going camping they've used it to power televisions <laughs> and there are multiple laptops of this one so that's why i bought this one even though this this was about four five pounds costlier than the other ones it does not have any usb port but i prefer to use something which lasts a while uh, and there you go uh, you've got the cheapest chips in car entertainment system uh, to be used with your nexus 7 hope everybody likes this i prefer to use it in a holder which i've got for about uh, eight nine pounds of amazon from hd zone it sticks well uh, the first one didn't stick well they sent me a replacement um, so that sticks very well securely i can easily take my nexus 7 by pulling uh, off something at the back you can see here i just pull that lever and it goes off and i can easily take it off it stays there securely and nexus 7 i don't don't even bother connecting it to my charging cable because it lasts me all day even if I'm using it as satellite navigation just over the past couple of days I've used it for four hours two hours up and two hours down and yesterday uh, supposed to be a two hour journey got stuck in traffic so it lasted a four hour journey all day I we went to the beach to Whitby and on the beach by tethering my Nexus 7 to my Samsung Galaxy Note we did, did Skype video chatting on the beach abroad uh, for my daughter to speak to her grandmother on the beach okay so we used uh, this as a portable entertainment system and now I've got a network attached storage system in my car I can take it away easily it's as big as my palm you can see it's not much bigger than a DVD case okay it's slightly uh, slightly wider than a DVD case not much thicker I can take it around, I can plug it in my car into the ethernet, uh, in my hotel to the ethernet port. I can use it as a wireless access point as well. There you go, hope you like it. If you like it, please click the like button down below uh, there on my YouTube channel. If you like it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. As in if you find something interesting, I'll upload videos of apps or devices to make you enjoy your Nexus 7 better. All this you can do it without rooting your Nexus 7. Remember this is not rooted. You can connect all these devices without rooting flash drives and everything. Okay, thank you. Bye.